it's the Project Workbench. You know, work, work is the soul of all of us artistically who want to do anything in the business. I'm talking about, you know, the actors do that thing and they go take a nap. It's wonderful. They all contribute. The right, everyone I've always looked at, I've always felt that the crew was always the audience. You know, like when we did Seinfeld, I was so happy because every week we did it live for an audience, 300 people sitting in bleachers. That's what we used to do in summer stock. You know, when we did it in about four days. But you, you know, you, you, ha you have to partner. People don't realize you have to partner with the audience. You have to partner with the director. The whole point is it has to be a feeling that everyone, uh, I've directed some theater, I've never directed film but I've directed theater and what you go for because you have 10 people coming in with 10 musical instruments and you have to, rather than a cacophony, you have to orchestrate it into something that sounds good to the ear. And, it, and it's the same thing a director's job, but as a director's job is multifaceted, but everyone contributes to it. And if you have a good feeling on the sound stage, everyone wants to do a better job. If you don't have a good feeling, I've walked on stages like that. Your uh, creative juices dry right up. Hmm. Because uh, it, 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 there are opportunities that create energies within the scenes, unless they're just you know, routine scenes, which you have to do to get out of the way. Sure. But there are some scenes where people are, are at each other, or love, or romance, and all of that can be squashed. You know, it's like a child that comes into a home where it's happy, or a child where there's abuse. If there's abuse, the child is always sitting around like that, tight, can't move forward. And the director's job is to make the director's job and the star's job, as Rod Steiger always reminded me, was to make it a comfortable place to come to work. Because everybody creates in that atmosphere. And a lot of people forget that's where the egos get involved. Hmm. A lot of people have egos. There are a lot of monsters in the business too. Generally what I do to monsters is I say, please fire me. When I was younger I used to walk away. And then when I was younger than that I used to take all that shit and humiliation because you had to. You had to put food on the table. Sure. I took any job that came my way, any job, a clown waving people into a real estate place, Santa Claus at Stearns, any job that was kind of in my milieu, I took it. You had to, you had to pay for class. Mm -hmm. you, you see, I still go to class. Hmm. I still try to do a play every single year. You know, you have to do these things or your brain will dry up and blow away. You know, you just, you know, so I have these other things I do. I paint, or I write poetry, or whatever, you know. Those are just little pieces of steam going off, you know. But the thing is to be active. And as you get older, your opportunities, when you're a young actor and you reach a certain peak, people just call you up and you work, 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 work. And then it starts closing in. And all of the actors, if you were number, let's say, three and four on the list, they would call with an offer. All of a sudden, the actors that are regulars on television are film stars. They get, you, when you see them on television all the time now, and people say, what? I say, because they want to get out of the house. It's nothing to do with money when you reach a certain age. It's a do, to do with activity of the mind and the soul and the body. Because people say, why are they doing that? I say, why shouldn't they do it? You know, at the beginning, it's hard to take this. All of a sudden, now you've, draw, you've dropped to the fifth or sixth choice. So therefore, your opportunity just to get work, narrow, mm -hmm. way down. But thank God for independent films, because there, now what's happening with independent films is a lot of the major agencies are seeing deals because they see these things happen out at the, um, the film festivals where they're picked up. You do a film for two million, guy offers you five million, walks away, makes 30 million on the film. You do a $200 million film that flops, everybody loses. 